Good morning. It's just another boring day because it's Tuesday and the weekend is far. But let's try to fix something. Today. So we have a Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab tablet and it's booked in like a LCD screen issue. But let's see if it's a screen issue. Let's power up the tablet. So look, look at the picture. It's like a low resolution picture. And here are some lines. You can see here some lines. And uh, you see all the picture is like low resolution and has some things look like that one and some lines and actually you'll think is the screen this is a common fault on the on the samsung tablet on this model and the light you see here some spot of of you see so here i have light probably the early leds are on here not i have some shadows on the screen so this is not a screen problem like how many you know many will think it's a screen issue but it's not it's not a screen and this is a common things on the on this kind of samsung tablets the big ones the 10 inch ones but let's open this one It's proper weird. You can see the picture. Let's open this one. Wait, I have a memory card here. Be careful. Take out the memory card first. And the tablet has clips, plastic clips. It's not hard to be open, but you have to be careful. This is a very nasty tablet. what you can do okay so the tablet is open let's take out the battery first yeah the people are crazy in these days wow someone is raging on other shop on another shop okay what do you have to do is to check the screen ribbon cable because it's a screen ribbon cable issue here looks fine yeah let's take this out and here looks fine also but let's unplug this cable Yeah, looks fine. Looks fine. Let's plug back this cable. It's just a bad design from the factory. Now let's plug back the battery. Let's power up the tablet. And I can tell you 100% now will be fine. Yeah, that, that ribbon cable is a big ribbon cable and have a lot, lots of, of, of pins there.
I found this problem on many, many 10 inch Samsung tablets. You see, the picture looks different. Oh, it's, 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 it's. Let, me, let me find something. One sec. Come on. I just wanted to claim. Okay. You see, the picture looks different. You can see. All the many things looks fine. And you see, it's. You see? Because of that cable. Because the cable has so many pins, and yeah, obviously, over the time, oxide can can be on the pins, and if you, like one pin is missing, actually, that distortion pictures is like one data, one da data pin is it's is missing. Yeah, I know it's boring, but. I found a lot of, of, of this tablet with this problem. And here the cable, if you can see this is stuck with something, but this is moving freely. They put so they they put some uh, sticky band here but it's not enough. Yeah, so actually it's not the screen. Okay, let's put it all back together. That's all what you have to do. Unplug the ribbon cable, plug it back. And it's fixed. And also if you see this tablet with with that problem on eBay, just buy it. Because it's not the screen, it's the ribbon cable, yeah? That's fixed. That was quick. What kind of case is that one? Looks like it's... Okay, now it's good. Now the tablet is inside. Okay. Let's go over, let's find something else. This is... Okay, I forgot the memory card. Good, good. Let's find something else. Motherboard fault. Okay, that job looks fine. So this is a laptop. It's HP model fourteen dash Z. -Z Zero five zero NA. Okay, this 
saying is it's a motherboard issue. Let's plug the charger. Let me find a charger. Bluefin. Blue pin charger? Yeah. Thank you. Let's check the charger first, yeah? The microphone is, yeah, it's working. The microphone is fine. So the charger has... 19.4 you can see on the multimeter let's plug the charger and we have no okay we have we have light we have orange light what's wrong with this one power and it's powering up This was meant to be faulty. Okay, I'm really sorry for that. This was booked in like faulty. That's a bad day. Keyboard not working. Testing. Beeping. Oh, that's crazy. I have no proper job here. Motherboard faulty. Okay, let's see this one. Toshiba You'll disappoint me Toshiba motherboard faulty Faulty motherboard Let's check <laughs> We have orange light But it's not coming on Okay, this is faulty so you can see we have orange light, but if I press the power button, yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, this is a Toshiba Satellite Pro R50-B-12N. So it's charging. Does mean the charging things is fine. I have 19 volts on the motherboard. Hmm. Let's see what can be wrong with this one. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it was open. 
Yeah, this laptop comes from our other shop. And probably they open and they try to fix. I think it's supposed to be get open from the back. Yeah, it's open. <laughs> check here, yeah. What's this? Okay, let's plug the charger and test again. <coughs> Let me take off the hard drive. No, it's not coming on. Okay. Let's see what do we have here. On the power supplies we have... No, here. 19.6. So I was right. It is voltage on the motherboard. Oh, one second. One second. Okay, sorry for that. So we have voltage everywhere. Yeah, 90.6. So all the power supplies, they have voltage. Okay, that's bad. The power button, where is the power button? Power button is here and I have the ribbon cable here and I should have somewhere 3.3 volts, one second. No, it's not this one. Uh, is this key? Oh, yeah, I hate this laptop already. It goes on the back of the motherboard. Let's see if we have 3.3 on the power button. 3.2. 3.3. Yes, we have some voltage. Let's show the, the, the power button. Maybe the power button is faulty. And the laptop is on. Partially it's a power button issue. Okay, let's find the problem exactly. Uh water damage so that's the thing if you have 3.3 just short the pins to ground and the laptop should come on obviously if the laptop it's it's you plug the charger you have voltage it's charging well when you press the power button it's not coming on probably what, what I, I I will check is the, the power button 
before thinking on the complicated things. Actually, the things can be very easy, like this one. So that's my power button, it looks bad. Let's go under the microscope. Okay, that's my power button and we can see sign of liquid damage. Yeah. And even on this side we can see sign of liquid damage. Let's quickly clean this one. That's petrol, lighter petrol. Looks clean enough. Let's check with the multimeter. Let's switch on the dial mode. Diode. Okay, it's working. Let's check the power button. So if I put there and there, I need one more hand to press on the And the power button is working. So again, let me see if I can do it. One second. I'll keep this with. Yeah. And I press the power button. And you can see on the meter, zero, zero. So the power button actually is good. Now it's clean anyway. Let's check one more time. Let's check one more time. The charger. Now let's press the power button. And no, it's not working. <laughs> no, it's not working. Why? Let's check the voltage on the power button. Voltage. Let me take ground from here. Zero and zero. So we have no voltage on the power button. Oh, wait, what? Okay, it's low voltage. Some truck issue here. Let's check again in the... Yeah, we have voltage of the connector. So it's a truck problem, a truck issue. Let's check the trucks. If I'm here, let me explain you, yeah? It's one more thing why a laptop cannot come on even if the power button is good yeah you see these little things here no you can't see it one second what do you think is this one huh what do you think is this one this is a hull sensor i think I hope I, I, say, I, I, I am saying right the name, but let me check online. Hall sensor. It's a magnetic sensor. Hall. Yeah, it is. There is. It is right. Hall sensor. Hall sensor. Let me switch on the thing. Main. No, no main. No. No. 
Oh yeah. So this thing with three pins, yeah, actually it's a hull sensor. When you put a magnet, they, the the thing will switch. Or, uh, it's like a switch commanded by the, by the magnet. Yeah. What this thing is doing here, this is the lead sensor. So actually, it's a magnet inside of the the screen case. Yeah. And when you close the lid, the computer will knows you close the lid and will shut down the windows or order the computer go to sleep. But the thing is, if there's something wrong with this sensor, yeah, and let's say the lid is closed, you can press the power button, but the laptop will not come on because he's thinking that the lid is closed. So keep in mind, I found this problem many things. Okay, let's check the the pins. Yeah, the pin still still looks nasty. What about those pins? Looks okay. No, I don't have another power button to replace. Yeah, I think I found the problem. I think the problem is here. You can see? Here, something is not alright. Here something is not alright. Here is on ground, so that pin it is connected to the ground. Okay. The other pin is the ground. And this pin uh, I think the problem is here, not there. Or maybe on the both sides. Well let's fix this problem. No, I don't have another button. But the button is good. The problem is the tracks or the... Yeah, or the solder. So, we are using some flux. The uh, colophonium. I love the smell of the colof of, of colophonium. Okay. Okay, just a little bit, it's just, a, just a little touch, and now we can come with some solder wire. That looks fine. What about this one? Yeah, don't play with too much heat on this button. Yeah? Don't play with too much heat. Let's plug the charger. Yeah, I know what you'll think. You say why the laptop is coming on because the lid is closed. Because I, the sensor is not on, not, it's not there. And the laptop is still not working. Why? You know why? Because I'm lazy, I should check. Where is the multimeter? There. Yeah, volts. It's fine, volts is fine. You know what? I get bored by this thing. You know, it's 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 not my thing. It's it's 
it's, let's fix it you know just let's fix it let's fix it I don't want I don't have time to search for trucks and just let's put a wire and let's fix it yeah let's see when the when the laptop is coming on let's see which pin is the first is the first pin Yeah, it is the first pin. Okay, let me find the wire. Let me find the wire. A tiny wire, not any wire. Yes, I found it. I found it. Yeah, you can search for the problem to see exactly what the track is broken and what were done Yeah, that's my wire. Let's go on the other side. And solder the wire here. Okay. Why the microscope is not on focus? Yeah, now it is. I know it's not something important, you know? I can't s I cannot I cannot say you know it's like a good video, it's not. It's just a power button. It's a basic thing. Well I have to fix it so Uh, come on, you, you see? You see, that's my skill. That's my solder skill. That's because I'm lazy. That's happen when you are lazy. And that's because it's too hot. Because it's Tuesday, because the holidays are near. That's why. Now. Let's see. Connector is plugged in. Let's plug the lap the uh, charger and let's press the power button. Yeah, spinning. And probably we have picture on the screen. Or maybe not because I just dropped the sensor and the computer is thinking I close the lid. Let me power up again. Yeah, okay, it's working. So when I close the, the uh, what? Let me show you. When I close this thing, no, because the screen is not closed. Let me find a, mag a magnet. You see? The screen is off. That's the hull sensor. And I'm playing with a magnet. Uh, check the fan. Yeah, the fan is spinning. 
Let's unplug the laptop. Plug the charger. Let's keep the magnet here. Yeah. Let's press the power button. Nothing happened. The fan is not spinning. You can see. Let's take the magnet out. And let's press the power button. You see? The fan is spinning. Okay? So be careful with that hull sensor. Sometimes the power button can be good, but the laptop is not coming on because that sensor is not good. Or, I don't know, but you have to check that thing. The hinge screw. Yeah. Again. Charger. And let's press the power button. And the laptop is on. Yeah? And it's beeping because the keyboard is not good. I know that already. Probably because of the water damage. Maybe not. Let's try if without keyboard. Without keyboard is not beeping. So the keyboard is gone also. Okay. I'll put all back together myself. But Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And... See you later. Probably, maybe. Maybe I will find something else. Thank you. Bye.